Good morning. It is now Thursday. What an amazing day yesterday. Uh, I spent the entire I spent the entire day fishing. Okay, and uh, it was on Lake Okeechobee. I've had like two weeks of, of nothing but stress. Like, and, and, and I mean that, and, and it's good stress. Don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. I, I love the fact that, that I'm this busy. I, could, I wouldn't trade it for the world. Um, but we, uh, we had a very good day. We didn't have that great of a day fishing, but it was really, really nice. It was, the, it, was, it was nice to finally get out on the water. And you know, last year we were here at the same time, my brother and I, we came in, excuse me, television, sheesh. Please be quiet. Apologies. Um, my brother and I were here a year ago, exact same time. We we went fishing in Lake Okeechobee with a horrible guide. Uh, Scott Martin wasn't available. Captain Dave Schneider wasn't available. So we went with this uh, Todd guy. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, but horrible guide. Horrible guide. Um, we we caught yesterday. We caught close to eight fish. They were super tiny, which is why they weren't on the video or why why you didn't see them all. They were just tiny. They didn't make say. Hey, look, I know that August fishing in Okeechobee is super super tough, right? Uh, in April, I caught. 17 one day, 16 the next day. I slayed it. I, I murdered it. Okay. So I know that if you come in the right time of the year, as just like anything else, you got to pick uh, pick your seasons. You're gonna have a good time. So you know, it doesn't matter. I had two weeks of super, as I was just mentioned, super super stressful, good things happening that I figured you know it's time to go in the water, time to disconnect the entire day. I did take like three calls on the water, but it doesn't matter. I had a, I had a blast uh, doing it. Um, this is the room that I'm staying in until I move to the main suite. The main suite looks exactly like this. Ah, and here we are in the new suite. So, uh, we are now at the Double Tree, at the Double Tree downtown in Orlando. Um, don't don't tempt me, okay? Don't tempt me. I, I've, I've been fishing all weekend. Don't tempt me. The thing is this: I see this lake, and on that lake, I see zero boats. It's midday, but that doesn't matter. I don't like. I don't. It's not even. I just don't understand. I don't understand what sort of. What, what sort of fisherman lives in Florida and doesn't fish all the time? This is the view from this side. So another lake over there with no fishermen. What is going on? Uh, I tell you, the clouds are on another, another, another level. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to try to see who's available. I know we play in at 1, and it is... 12.36, so we're about to play. I'm gonna head over to the venue now, check in and watch the boys play. Um, get the day started, have some fun. Holy hotness, I gotta tell you, even, even though I was in the water all day yesterday in front of the sun, it is not as hot as it is right now because of this big Amway Center Stadium building walls just legit just baking me as I walked. See, this guy is just in all love and appreciation. You see, that's, you know, let's, let's just go ahead and move towards that. Oh, hey, Hitch. Oh. Do you vlog every day? No. Not me, me either. What's up? What's up, Orio? Go ahead, throw it. Throw it up. Throw up what you want to throw up. <laughs> that is why... Enrique's a better brother. 100%. Enrique's a better brother. All right, so we just got a quick tour of the of the main stage. That's d -treats. If you guys have never seen him. But look at that, look at that. From no chairs to playing in a stadium. It's the most insane shit ever. Literally from going from like a feature station with no chairs, just fans and us standing around, literally like us five made up the other half of the entire 10 person crowd to this, it's incredible. Hopefully this is the year. Good morning. Uh, I know that it was an abrupt uh, interruption in programming because we went from the last scene to this one. Um, it rained so, so badly today. It was storming. You know what's crazy though? You see those train tracks? You see those train tracks right there? All of that that goes all the way through? Every morning, and I'm talking about like 2.30, 3.30 in the morning, there is this loud, 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 super loud sound. I can't even begin to tell you how annoying it is. All right. Uh, keys, wallet, or phone, so I don't have a wallet. Um, okay, uh, we're good. My pass is here. Extra battery for this. Let's go. We're good. Let's get going. 
waiting on uh, on Dietrich and Jay. It's a nice little parlor right down here. What it's about anyway. So um, the reason that we're meeting the players so early is because they have a player meeting, and I have to make sure that they all. I have to make sure that they all get in. I need to get a couple more passes. But we should be good to go. Come on. What time did you go to bed last night? Eleven. Oh, sorry. Get that shit out of my face now. I feel bad. Yeah, I took over for him. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, so I'm gonna... So, I'm gonna give you a quick recap of what happened last event. Last event, I wore this same thing. You know, camo pants. I get to the elevator, then he comes wearing camo pants. So I said, nope, not doing that. I run back to my room, change pants, because I'm not trying to look like... Like Jay, and Jay's not trying to look like me. So today, I almost texted him. I was told him, I'm like, I'm wearing camels, don't put them on. Sure enough, I'm standing right there, and then here he comes with some fucking camels. But it was your turn to go upstairs. I saw some resistance. I just wanted to walk. David, did you win a ring on this game? Yep. That's why you're wearing it. Yep. Anything, everything counts, man. Everything. Tie your shoelaces a certain way. That's me. Eat something. Yo, did you win a championship during that? Or did... Turkey bacon, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel? Yeah. This guy right here. All three. Turkey bacon, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel. Thanks, man. Turkey bacon, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel. If I had teammates with thumbs, yeah, cheese. I would have won. But you know, you can't always get them. Nice, hearty breakfast. Beatrice, first event. Psych. Nervous? Fantastic. Psyched. Those were, yeah, thank you. I gave you two choices and you gave me one that was not. You know how it goes. <laughs> 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Yo, the first time that you met Hutch, man, were you, when you looked into his eyes, did you feel like he was sucking the soul out of you? He tapped me on the back of the shoulder, turned around, scared the shit out of me. It was a good time, though. It was a good time. <laughs> hey, buddy. It's my boy. Ultimate photographer. It's a robot. Who's gonna jump on you? I hope not. Look at how massive this thing is. Look at that. Yeah, there we go. What size shoe is that? Thirteen. Thirteen. Look at that thing! Look at it! It's crazy! It's on the move. Yeah. It's on the move. You gotta get to the slow mode. You know it's crazy? It's missing a, a limb. Yeah, it looks like it's missing something. It's in the front! Ah! Look, this is a chapstick. Look at that! Swiss, how big was that thing? It's pretty big. It's big, it's massive. It's like my phone. I've got a small phone, so. It was massive. Uh, so these are the digs. This is where we uh, we hang out after. The, so media rooms are back there. All right. So this is Deserto. This is where they're working. That's Josh pretending to work. He's also from Deserto. But these guys are on standby right now. So any single time that uh, a publication, say it's Fox, say it's uh, Deserto, say it's PlayStation, say it's anyone that. That, that's here to, to cover media, they come into this room, they grab whoever they want to interview, and then they go, Karma just just got here after doing an interview. So we're pretty much on a holding pattern right here until they, they tell us that we're free to go. So, yeah.
know what side you want. Uh, we'll take Team A. Unsell score trap one. Pardon the interruption, okay? Uh, w w the scene that comes next was a very, very, um, how do I say it? All right, so I'm sitting behind the, the, the stage, okay? That's where I watched the games from because I was, I didn't want to be ne near anybody, okay? I wanted to be by myself, I wanted to watch the games, I didn't want anybody to stress me out, I just wanted to watch this. Um, but in between games, Seth asked to get some some bananas. So I texted uh, Dietrich and I texted Jay and I said, yo, Seth needs bananas. Dietrich didn't have any more in his backpack. Jay went upstairs to the media room and there was none there. So I was walking down this long hallway. Okay, I was walking down this long hallway and I looked to the right and in the most weird place that you can, it was like a video game where you find food to the side of it. You know, it, it, was, it was one of those weird, Weird meant to be moments, right? That that right as, as Seth is about to go on stage, okay? Right as Seth is about to go on stage to 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 play the game of his life with his teammates, okay? He asked for bananas and there was no bananas to be found. I looked to my right, I, I literally, as I'm texting, okay? I'm texting, I said, I am searching for them now. And then I looked to the right and there they are on top of some, I don't know why they were there. It was the craziest shit that happened. And then the rest, as you'll see, went down in history. The weirdest shit just fucking happened. Dude, the weirdest shit just happened. Nothing. Winner's Gump. Beautiful shots, but it's not just the rings. And that is gonna conclude my return for everything. Thank you for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed the video, please remember to leave without leave a like. Having said that, and with that said, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow, as usual, and as per usual.